Today I wanted to do a sort of haul and trying out some supplies because I found out about this store called Muji in a recent trip to Vancouver and I, uh, hmm. I bought too much. So well, let's see what I got and try some stuff out. So what is Muji? Quote, Muji in Japanese translates as no brand quality goods, end quote, not a sponsor. They claim to want to offer no brand goods as if it would be cheaper, but honestly, browsing through the store, it varied from, oh wow, this is pretty cheap, to what the heck, why is this $50? Either way, they have a crazy variety of stuff from clothes, makeup, food, kitchen goods, bathroom, you name it. And of course, stationary stuff. I'm not super into stationary stuff, but there was a lot I could use as far as sketching goes, and I'm always trying to get myself to sketch more, and especially with pins. I'm not really a fan of haul videos, but I thought it would be fun to show off some of the stuff I got because if you are maybe near one and you find out, well, this is some stuff you can get. I also just love minimalistic design and Muji is all about that, especially those brown paper sort of cardboardy things. Okay, I am dying to try this stuff out, so let's get into it. So the first thing I was probably a little too excited to get was this pencil case, and I have been on the lookout for a sort of plain looking pencil case. I do love my alligator pencil case, but like I said, I love plain, and this one seems pretty dang spacious once you open it up. And because it is so plain looking, I can decorate it with some pens. So what better thing to decorate with than some enamel pens that I got from Van Caff, which is why I was in Vancouver, and, I don't know, maybe my own pen? There we go. Now my pencil case is all adorable and even more personalized and I can keep putting some pins on it. Next, I have a variety of, I guess you would call these jelly pins. I really don't know anything about that sort of pen. I never got into jelly pins. I never understood why they were so popular, but I wanna give them a try. They had a variety of sizes, I think from 0.25 to 0.5 to 0.75 or so. I like to shoot in the middle and I got a variety of colors and yeah. Let's just put those right in this pencil bag. Next, a couple of basic pins, this multicolor pin because I just felt my childhood coming back and this regular ballpoint pin, just a regular pin. I just wanted to see what their stuff was like really. Boop. I got a variety of notebooks because I am super into these tiny little pocket-sized notebooks. I do have a few of these moleskin ones, but I do want to try a different brand if I can. What I loved about these little guys is that each color has a different style of page, and you can get that with moleskin, but this one has little tiny dots on it. If you can see, it's very light. The green one has a grid, which I think is really cool and fun. And the red one, can you guess, is plain. <laughs> Boop. Into the bag it goes. Look at that, perfect size, I love that. I also wanted to get a plain brown book because I just really love this brown color. And they have a little station there where you can get stamps and customize anything you want. So that was really fun. I just kind of went crazy with this. I'm hoping to fill this in 2018, so hopefully I can fill this with some Muji Supply Doodles. Will it fit? Whew. Yes, it will. I also got this checklist because I'm always making daily lists or weekly lists of things I want to accomplish, so I thought it would be really fun to have an actual list dedicated to that because I do make my own little checklist in my planner, but maybe having something a little more organized would be best. And of course, will it fit? Do, 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 do. Uh oh, it might be too long. Oh no, it's too long. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Next is this adorable little mechanical pencil and I just loved it because of that wood texture on it, but it's very light and I'm very curious to see how it writes. I also got this little packet of lead, which again, I just thought it was cute because it had that cardboard pattern on it and I just love that. Seriously, I just love the simple packaging with this. Oh my gosh, it's just so cute. In it goes. Next is this six pack of wooden pencils, which again, I don't really use wooden pencils, but they're just so simple and I liked the look of them. And I have a problem. 
And because I got a set of pencils, I had to get this little pencil sharpener because why not? It has a little cap, which I don't think I've really seen on a pencil sharpener before, so I think that's pretty cool. This is something I am very curious to try out. This is an eraser, as you can see, and you slowly unwrap it to reveal the eraser as you use it. So I thought that was really cool, and honestly, I just wanted to try it. And two more erasers, to be honest, I just wanted to see if there was a difference between this white eraser and this black eraser. That's it. Next, I got this little pocket travel pair of scissors. I like to have a small set of scissors with me, but the current set I have right now is more for sewing, so I didn't want to damage them in any way. So I thought this was a cute little travel scissor thing. They're pretty dang cute. Something else cutting related was this tiny little, I guess, tiny miniature box cutter thing. It's so cute, I'll be honest. I may have bought it just because it was small and cute. And also some replacement blades for it. You wanna fight? It's just so cute, look at it. And last but not least is this tiny, cute travel size ruler. The only thing is that this is in centimeters and I didn't realize that and I don't know centimeters. Now, I'm not going to need to carry all of that with me at any one time, but look how much this pencil case holds. That's a lot of stuff, but will it zip? Ta-da! You gotta admit, that's a pretty good pencil case to hold that much. So now that we know what all of our supplies are, let's start doodling around with them and just testing them out. Here we go. But first, we need to make a checklist for today. Am I right? Where's that regular pin? Okay, I was looking for this um, normal pin, I suppose. All right, let's see. We're going to test. And there you go, that is the life of a YouTube video. And the pin works like a pretty basic pin. Um, I feel like something you could buy at the dollar store or Walmart, to be honest. But I do like this little to-do list. It's kind of fun to have a to-do list specifically for doing. Next, let's test out these notebooks. But I thought it would be fun to test different colors with each different pin. So I've got them sorted by these warm colors, these cool colors, and these dark colors. All right, let's start off with this red notebook first. Let's just do a cover page, because I do like to do cover pages on my notebooks. All right, so we are starting this on 2018, so I'll forever know how long it took me to fill these. So, so far these pins, they just feel pretty basic. I do like the way they feel. I think they look really great too, they're pretty colorful. You can kind of see it if you look hard enough on the other side, but it doesn't seem like anything serious if you're just gonna use this as a little notebook or a sketchbook, I don't think it'd be too bad. All right, let's check out this little gridded notebook with these cooler colors. I feel like having notebooks that have little patterns like a grid or something like this can really help you, I don't know, inspire your sketches to be more like grid-like or something. It might be kind of fun. How does one write a two in pixel? I don't know, let's just, um, let's just see what happens. Sometimes you just have to make things look really bad. I really do like these colors. I think they're very bright. They're very vibrant. And I think they're gonna be a lot of fun to sketch with in these little notebooks or just in my sketchbooks in the future because I keep telling myself that I want to keep sketching in pen after I did the sketchbook slam challenge, but I keep going back to using pencil because I guess I'm just more familiar with it. But man, these little pins, they're very smooth, they're very bright, and I think it'd be really fun to just add a little bit of a splash of color to your sketches. Not bad. Like I said, you can kind of see it, but I don't think it's anything that should keep you from using it. And next, the little dotted notebook. What if with this one I just connected the dots? So let's just see. Well, you know how it is. I am looking forward to using these little grids and dots to create like little sketches that are inspired by these things because they're just kind of weird. I'm looking forward to using these little dots 
So far I'm quite pleased with the quality of those little notebooks. They're nothing special, but they're not bad, so that is always good. Let's try out this guy next. The quality of paper seems the same. It's a little slippery than I'd like it to be. It's not quite as matte as the moleskin sketchbooks are, but I don't know, maybe it'll work well with the pins. Let's just see. Oh my, you can see. How did that go through? That's interesting. Again, you can kind of see it going through on the other page, but I don't think that's anything you really need to worry about. If you're just using it as a sketchbook, I think it'll be okay, but if you're wanting to use it as something a little more finished, I probably wouldn't recommend these books because they do seem to be a little bit of a lower quality and just something that you can sort of doodle in. A lot flimsier than I'd like my little notebooks to be, especially when I can get a moleskin one that has a little bit of a thicker cover. And like I said, it's a little slippery. Though I do like this little guy, so if you do want to mark what page you're on, I think that's pretty cute. That said, let's start trying out our other supplies, like our pencils. Let's see how this sketchbook does with um, having pencil sketched in it. I actually kind of like the way this notebook feels with pencil. It's really smooth and I kind of like that. This pencil is very light, which isn't so bad. It might be a little too light. I feel like I could just throw it across the room at any moment. Oh, I didn't try out this pen yet. Let's just see what this guy's all about. Again, this just kind of feels like your basic multicolored pen. I don't know why I thought it would feel like anything different, but it's pretty basic. Nothing special about it. I say it is time to try out this pencil sharpener and these wooden pencils. Ooh, look, you can even see as it sharpens. All right, we have a nice sharp pencil. Let's close this so we don't get shavings everywhere. And let's try, look at that, sure as a pencil. I do like the feel of this pencil a lot more than the mechanical pencil, I'll say that for sure. So I do like these pencils more than mechanical pencil for sure, but what I keep using wooden pencils I don't know. Now here is something that I am dying to try out. Well, it's really hard to grab. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Sorry, I had to use my teeth off the camera because uh, I couldn't grab it and I still can't grab it. Dangle. I, uh, I may have done it way too much, but ooh. It's really fun, but I feel like it's just kind of a gimmick, right? I've got these really cheap erasers that I got from Walmart, which is pretty much the same thing, right? Except it's not all exposed and you don't have to use your teeth. <laughs> so I don't know. I feel like it might just be like a, a fancier looking version of something like this, huh? Well, the good news is that it erases well, so at least it's not like a gimmick completely, at least it, it does its job. So that's pretty interesting. I guess, you know, you can whip it out in front of your friends and be like, look how cool my eraser is. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the battle between the black and white eraser, which one works better? It feels the same as that little 2B one we just peeled away. Seems to be working um, just fine. It's very smooth. I don't know. I don't know that I've ever felt an eraser that's quite that smooth. It's very buttery. Um, so I kind of like that. Usually erasers are pretty firm, but this one's like buttery. I kind of like it. All right, Black, let's see what you got. It's exactly the same. I do wonder um, why you would want a black eraser over a white one or why you would want a white one over a black one. Do you maybe use black ones on darker paper so you don't see like a smear of white? Maybe you use white ones on white paper so you don't see a smear of black. Who knows, but they seem to be working pretty well for erasers. What do you say we test out our little scissors? All right, so I want it to look like I did a lot on my to-do list, so let's get rid of some things, huh? Oh, well, look at that. They're scissors and they work well. Good job, scissors. They're really cute and compactable and I really like that. But what about the little knife? Is it sharp enough to cut while you hold it? <gasps> Whoa, actually it is. Oh, look at that. Nice, I'm actually kind of less disappointed with this random purchase than I thought I would be. And of course, last but not least, the ruler. Will it measure? 
Mm-hmm. Looks like it does. Good job, ruler. All right, now that I have done some swatching and tested out the supplies, let's do a more finished doodle with the book and the pens. I'll be honest, I was a little bit worried about sketching in pen because it's not something I do. I feel like I don't know how to do it, but I had a lot of fun once I just loosened up and just kind of went with it. I'm hoping I can get myself into the habit of just doing a little doodle every day in the morning while I warm up. I'm hoping I can fill up these little sketchbooks. I think it would be fun just to do short little doodles just to warm up in the morning. So hopefully I can get around to doing that again. Overall, I'll be honest, these supplies aren't anything great. I just kind of felt like they were, they were fun to get into, but in the end, they are just, they're kind of basic and they're pretty regular. Oh well, we had fun, right? Thank you so much for watching this video and a big thank you to everyone who came up to me at Van Caff and said hello. It was my first time meeting any of you in real life. It was crazy. I was nervous. I was excited. I wasn't expecting to meet so many of you. It was so much fun. That's the reason why I went to Vancouver. I went because I wanted to go to Van Caff, which is the Vancouver Comics and Art Festival. And I thought because I was in town, I would also go to Muji and try some stuff out. So. Thank you so much for saying hello to me. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you so much to all of my patrons, including Michael Young, Zach Abstract, Lex CS, Shelby, Megan, Maureen A, Chris Side, Davey Tomato, Cool Guy Josh, Mina Blix, Hey Lucy, Eddie, Louise Chocolatier, Mackenzie, Maya, Leah Shibutani, Africa, and Dad. If you want a shout out at the end of my videos, access to my sketchbook, coloring pages, and more, become my patron by clicking the link in the description. Thank you all so much for the support. Bye.